What's going on guys? Welcome to your 12th tutorial in the intermediate series. I know it's been a long time, uh, but I will make it up to you because I probably will have a bunch of free time, most likely getting fired here pretty soon. So I'll be able to make some tutorials for you. Um, this is what we're going to do in today's tutorial is pull up a list item or a spinner of all of our saved files within our application because again we've created a, let me go back, created a internal storage where we can label a file such as awesome um, so we can save that file now and go back to reading our data and we'll have that new feature within our, our spinner here as well uh, that's all we're gonna do for today's tutorial then we'll eventually load it and it'll load up the actual text that we saved in this text view down here so what we need to do is open up our spinner class or our reading activity and before we jump into this tutorial if you guys downloaded the code from the website um, go into your manifest and under the reading class this was internal store um, so change that to be reading and um, and you'll be able to run our application otherwise it'll crash so just make that note another thing for you guys to know is we're starting to include our source file on the website for each tutorial so you can make sure you download that there and uh, just quickly to show you how to import that uh, some people don't know this but just right click new and you can either say Android project here or the other tab go into the Android project hit next and browse for an existing source here and then locate that file you downloaded hit open and you probably want to rename it to be Android you know 2012 something like that for each file not 2012 I'm sorry the 2.0 series and then tutorial 12 I've already got this project in my file but then just hit finish and everything will be into Eclipse. You'll be able to run that application as long as you don't have the same identifier as the name which you might and I'll cover that at the end of the, t end of the tutorial when we try running this application. So let's go back into our reading class and we're going to set up our spinner and get the information that we saved from our internal store class and it's going to be done quite simply. I'm just deleting some of the imports as I was testing this out. Alright so within our onCreate method we want to load up the data that we saved into our spinner so we have the actual file names right so let's just create a new function called get file names and then create that function by hovering over and create that method so what we need to do when we're working with spinners is you have a string array uh, or what you can do I should say is you have a string array you turn that string array into a list and then you create an array adapter out of the list and then set the adapter to the spinner. So again, the spinner is just looking for an array adapter and we're just converting the files as they come. So first let's just learn how to get the files that we saved into our application and we're gonna turn that into a string array. Uh, so we're just gonna call this like file names, something like that. And it's incredibly easy to get all of our privately stored data for application. We just have to relate to the get application context method and then just say dot uh, file whoops file list and that will return a string array of all the private data that we saved or all the file names of the data that we saved privately for our application pretty awesome right so the next thing that we want to do is we want to be able to cycle through that data and set up a spinner for each individual file name that we have so let's create a quick for loop to cycle through all of our information so we're just going to say int i equals zero as long as i is less than however many file names there are so we're going to refer to our string array and then we're going to see how many items are within that string array by saying length uh, you guys probably should be familiar with that if you checked out my java series before uh, coming to android but anyways uh, again all we're doing is cycling through each individual file name there is and to test out that this is working we're going to log d and then we're going to say file name and then we're going to refer to the specific file name that's being cycled through. We're going to throw the I in there. So now we just have to add our imports and we can run this. We can run this and then under the log cat when you run your application and open up the reading activity you should get some notes down here such as file names trav or fa, trav, awesome those are our file names within our applications context and as you can see it's cycling through each file name and it's working perfectly so now we have to find a way to convert all of these file names into a list uh, so let's create a list of the type 
string. I know you guys probably haven't worked with list a whole lot because I haven't really done a lot of tutorials on spinners or anything like that that really need a list, but it's just called a list and we're giving it the type of string. We're gonna give this name as list. Makes sense, right? It's gonna be new array list and all we're doing is creating a list out of an array pretty much and again this is going to be of the type string because again we're converting this string array into a list all right um, so it's look like that okay so add our imports now how we add a list it's pretty simple if we were creating a list just out of nothing we just do list add you know item one or whatever um, and then we have a new item within our list but again, as we just proved, we already have what we want to list out here. It's our file names. So instead of saying item one, we're just going to refer to our file names uh, at the position of i. Again, the i is going to change each time we go through the for loop, and it's going to cycle through each one of our file names as we proved here. Again, we don't need to debug anything or log anything, so we can comment out that log system now. Simple enough, right? All we've done is created a list out of all the file names that we've saved to our application. The next thing that we have to do is we need to create an array adapter um, because again, our spinner is looking for an array adapter. We can throw that line in real quickly. We refer to our spinner and again, set adapter and we need some sort of an adapter. So we're just gonna say our file name uh, adapter. Again, we haven't created this adapter yet, but that's how a spinner works. It's looking for some sort of an adapter. So now we have to create this file name adapter and somehow create it out of this list that we just set up. Okay, it's gonna be pretty easy. Um, let's just do a ray adapter. Again, it's gonna be of the type string and we're gonna give it the name that we just set up here. And we're gonna set this to a new array adapter. Um, we're gonna relate to the one that has three parameters, the context, Again, our application's context. Uh, the int, that's gonna be kind of the style of our spinner item that we want. It gives us gives it a little bit of swag, you know? And then lastly, our list here. Um, so it's gonna be this third one down. So for context, we're just gonna to relate to the context of this class or this activity, uh, and that should work for our context. Our style or our swag is gonna be a little bit different. We're going to relate to the Android class R dot layout dot, and we have a bunch of different active or a bunch of different styles we could have, such as a simple drop down item line one. That's kind of what I have set up on this one. It looks a little bit weird right here because that graphic is being stretched out. It doesn't look the best, but um, you guys can test out a few different ones. Like let's just try simple list item one, something like that. Um, you guys, like I said, you can mess around with what type of style you want your list items to have. And then lastly, we need to relate to our list that we set up. So it's just going to be list. And something went wrong. Oh, the type here. So we want our type, again, to be string. So now we have everything set up for our spinner item. We should be done with this tutorial. I know it's a little bit confusing because if you have been following my tutorials, we haven't worked with the list or an array adapter before but you know it's just one of those new things that you're like okay I don't really care what it is I see how it works and all I wanted you guys to know is how easy it is to get a list of all of our file names that we save privately uh, with the internal storage example that we used so now we populate our list or our spinner uh, let's just save this run it make sure everything works oh and the other thing that if you guys download this tutorial um, let me get to it in a second I just want to make sure this works and it doesn't oh okay it does work but the stylizing has it be white as you can see here you can't really read the text unless if you kind of click and hold it so maybe that style isn't the best maybe you want to go back to uh, the simple drop down item line one something like that um, but it is working the other thing I want to show you guys if you guys did download that project uh, from our website what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to delete any other application that has that same identifier otherwise it's not gonna be able to install in your application so go into the settings applications uh, manage applications and then find this the identifier which is com.mybringback.theworks 
uh, or my 4.0 series as I can see here. Click that bad boy and there's a few things we can do within here. We can clear data. This is a side note um, because we did save some in internal data uh, so you can clear that occasionally if you want to start over, create a different list of items or anything. But again, if you downloaded the project from the website, you won't be able to install it if you already have an application with the same identifier. So just click uninstall and then install the one that you download from the website. But hopefully you guys have a different identifier. Most likely you didn't put my bring back following the tutorial series, but I just wanted to make mention of that. Again, thanks for watching these videos. First and foremost, subscribing, telling your friends, and especially donations because I have a feeling those are going to be coming in handy real soon. Uh, so thanks again, guys, and make sure you check out the next tutorial. See you later.